How do you support international students in terms of languages, studying, welfare, etc.? Right, okay. Again, because we're quite a small institution, we recognise that it's really important to look after students, and first impression is, is really a major thing. So when students arrive at the airport, we, su we supply a free taxi service so to get them to uh, Bournemouth, because it's about two hours' journey. Because it must be dreadful. First time you come to a country, you don't know where you are. It all looks strange. How do you get there? Um, so they have no worries like that. They'll be taken direct to their accommodation. We always make sure there's some food there for them so for when they arrive, so they settle in easily. And then we have an orientation program in their first week so they can make friends. Because I think that's the most important thing for a student if they're on their own in a strange country, is you want to make a friend really quickly and then feel confident and happy. Um, we take them out and about to the local area and have a, a great night on the beach. We have a beach party every year, so students really enjoy that. They can meet all the tutors, and in fact our principal always comes to that because, again, small institution, we, we provide a very friendly um, service. When they're on course, they have a lot of tutorial support, but we also have an English for Academic Purposes tutor, and that person can help them with their written work. She also does um, lunchtime sessions as well, which they, students can go, go to. And then, because we're in Bournemouth, lots of language schools that they can go to, and we also have an arrangement with the local further education college, where if students want to continue their English while they're studying, they can go there in the evenings as well. And then as for support, we have a fantastic um, student support service who helps them with accommodation, welfare, um, counselling. So if they have any issues or problems, there's always somebody they can talk to. But because the international office, again, there's four of us in our office, so they'll either meet me or Dan or Julie or Veronica. Um, we're there from, them, from the beginning, when they first apply to us. We do all their admissions, and then when they're on course, they can come and see us. If they've got any problem, we can tell them where to go, how to do things, how to get a job, how to open a bank account, etc. Um, so we do try to look after our students very well, and that's what they tell us. Okay. Um, do you want to say something lastly? Or last? Yeah. Okay, one thing, one of our key selling points, I think, of the Arts University College is that our courses interrelate very well. For instance, we have a film course, and film people need actors. We have an acting course. The actors need costumes. We have a costume course. The actors also need to be made up, so we have a makeup course. So therefore, we have courses that although students are working in their own specialist area, they work collaboratively with other students, just like it is in the creative industries. So students will have a chance of working with other people. And we have really good creative buzz in our institution. If anybody would like to come and visit us, I'd be very happy to show them around whatever day it is, as long as it's not Christmas, <laughs> so I wouldn't be there. <laughs>